give us a little context for, for, for Virginia and what, uh, perhaps a bit of her background, but also what marks her as a practitioner? What made her so extraordinary in your view? I think what really marks her as a practitioner was the immense number of different skills that she had. Uh, some of these were attitudes or orientations. Some of them were very specific uh, skills, hypnotic language, uh, nonverbal gestures, and things like that. And I'll try to point out a number of these in eclipses as we go through. Um, but there are many, many aspects. One was a sen sense of equality. When she was talking with a client, she was on an equal basis with them. And often she would put uh, children up on chairs so they could see eye to eye with the parents so that they wouldn't be this top-down authority and uh, submission and so on and all that nonsense. She was, she was really on a, a uh, she took any opportunity she could to destroy authority essentially and just have people talk, one, you know, talk to each other person to person. Mm -hmm. Uh, she had another attitude of no blame, that you, we learn things and some of the things we learn are destructive and we can go on to learn other things. Mm -hmm. She was very careful to talk in terms of behaviors, that you learned this, okay, fine, that didn't work out very well, let's learn something else. Um, she talked in terms of people's pictures of reality. This is called model of the world in the world that I live in that rather than saying she is this way, she said, oh, so that's how you picture her, or that's how you mm -hmm. saw her at that time. Mm -hmm. She did a lot of putting old behavior in the past, so she said, yeah, that's what you used to do, or that's what you have done in the past, and now let's go on to something else. She was the original so solution-oriented therapist. Mm -hmm. Someone would say, you know, come in with, as most people do, they come in with a complaint, and she'd say, okay, that's what you don't want, what do you want? Uh, she had loads of hypnotic patterns. There, there's uh, One of the things I notice as I watch uh, videotapes of various people is that often they're using hypnotic patterns and they have no idea that they're using hypnotic patterns and that they're actually inducing things and then they find them and they, they uh, verify their theory, which might be pretty, pretty cracked, but they verify it because they've done hypnosis up front. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, she recognized very clearly that people's problems are uh, in their heads, that it's their images, their memories of uh, what was going on before, you know, what happened in the past and so on, and then she needed to update their images. And she would do everything she could to uh, amplify their, uh, their world so that it wasn't just the simplified uh, world that they were responding to. Uh, the old Buddhist idea that there's the world of illusion and Maya, you know, I'm here with you. If, I, if you reminded me of my father and I had trouble with my father, then I would start responding to you as if you were my father. Well, that's nonsense. I mean, it's, it's, however, the problem is you can't just tell somebody that and make it happen. You have to do something. And that's another thing that she did. She was always doing things. She was telling people what to do. And this is particularly interesting because she hated manipulation, and she herself was a master manipulator. Master. Now, she was manipulating in terms of the client's outcome, and that's the crucial difference. That the, manip uh, the evil uh, definition of manipulation is that I manipulate you in terms of my outcome. She was manipulating people in terms of their outcome, and that's what made all the difference. She was very, very active. She would attack uh, unrealistic beliefs very directly. One of her favorite things was going, wait a minute, wait just a minute. You know, and she'd literally interrupt. She would interrupt anything that wasn't going well and then start a new tack and, and then amplify anything that, that did go in the direction she wanted. And she was always going for uh, a broader perspective, a, a deeper perspective. 